Hi, I'm Rhiannon and today I'm here to talk about the art and craft of scrapbooking, including journaling and memory keeping, so you can start creating layouts to capture your most special memories. Here are some things to keep in mind before you start choosing your designs and supplies. Scrapbooks come in many different sizes, and the one you choose depends on if you want a simple, portable way to capture memories or you want to create full, detailed spreads. Decide on the size and format before you buy your supplies. Traditional scrapbooks let you create layouts on a single sheet. You could also use with mixed media or elaborate decorations. Use it for keeping a record of life's big moments or create a dedicated album for a big event, such as a wedding. These albums can be created in photo books or using larger 12x12 pocket sheets. A pocket scrapbook lets you store your scrapbook sheets in plastic pockets. This is a quicker way to scrapbook and you can get creative with how you use the plastic pockets. These are ideal for everyday scrapbooking and journaling. You could also use a notebook, file or flipbook for more space or if you want a portable keepsake. These are great when travelling to capture memories while you're on the go. The format you choose depends on if you want to add and remove pages or if you want a set number of pages. Three ring scrapbooks can be opened and closed to add and remove pages. Post bound scrapbooks have metal posts drilled into them and it's not as easy to add and remove pages to expand your album. You can also use notebooks, diaries or journal pads for your memory keeping. Now that you've chosen your format, it's time to set up your scrapbook with supplies. Start basic and work out what else you need. The first thing you'll need is an album or journal. Choose one that's big enough to hold your memories. Paper or card for the background of your scrapbook page. Choose plain or patterned in a variety of colours. Find individual sheets or themed pads and cut them to the size you need. Themed pads are great when you're creating a cohesive scrapbook or want to visually link a few pages in order to tell a story. Cutting tools. Paper trimmers give you a clean, straight line and standard hand scissors are good for cutting shapes and trimming. Pens. Whatever pen or marker you choose, make sure it has archival quality ink so it doesn't degrade or fade over time. If you want to write on your photos, choose an oil-based pen so it won't smudge and ruin your memories. If you want to stick embellishments onto the page, you'll need some adhesives. Double-sided tape is quick and easy to use. Other tapes and glues are stronger, meaning they can hold heavier embellishments, but they may take longer to dry. Finally, get some plastic pocket pages to insert everything into. These keep your pages protected. Use a variety of embellishments to make your scrapbooks unique. Stickers let you quickly add visual interest. Die cuts can be layered on top of photos and are often flat enough to sit inside your plastic pockets. You can buy packs or make your own with a cutting machine. Wood veneer or chipboard shapes add warmth and they can be painted. Buttons add pops of colour. Sparkly accents, sequins and glitter look great when glued onto the page or when they're in a plastic shaker pocket. Brads or split pins let you affix paper to the page without using glue or tape. Add ribbon, lace or string to add texture. You could also sew onto the page with embroidery thread or a sewing machine. Washi tape brightens up the page. Stamps and archival quality ink add visual interest. If you want to see our variety of scrapbooking embellishments, drop into a Spotlight store or visit us online at spotlightstores.com. Happy scrapbooking! Mm -hmm.